Welcome to DTLT today. Andy, what's going on here? Hi, hi, Tim. You, you look strangely different today. I, I feel like I'm in a completely different space. It's like there's green glowing rings <laughs> above our heads, or at least above your head. Yeah. I've, and there's, there's kind of, I don't know if I reach around here and, and put my hand, I can't exactly yeah. put my hand in front of the, the green glowing desk that we have in front of us either one might think that we dropped a little acid in the way to getting our new convergence center but that's actually not the case uh these are the new virtual sets that we get to play with but we did have chipotle today we did so maybe this is you know this is all in our imagination some bad onions or something in my (laughs) it's the brown rice i think (laughs) that they're starting what did they put in that brown rice (laughs) (laughs) that's something new at your local chipotle um so well anyway welcome to dtlt today yeah um Tim has once, a be- once again been uh, experimenting with the set yeah. um, and with the equipment. Um, and we, we also, I think we mentioned that we have a, a copy of DTL. Yeah, we have a copy of Wirecast <laughs> Pro. Um, I almost called the software by our title. That's which not, we've always been using Wirecast, but this right. is the professional version, right. which adds some extra features and just exactly. a few things that do some really interesting things, including these virtual sets up here. Another so. another 500 bucks for the pro version of the mm-hmm. software. Um, but, it, but not only does it do, do these things like these sets, which we'll show you more of, mm-hmm. but um, there are things like... Um, audio there's a there's an issue with audio delay and i still haven't figured out where you go to change this yeah, I can um, show you. you uh you've, yeah. you've already investigated i played it. around with it a little um, bit yeah because with the firewire camera there's a bit of a delay on the video but right. if you're using the input on your computer directly then the audio would have been immediate and it would be exactly so you can change the sync delay with mm-hmm. with this particular setting that tim's going to show me <laughs> where it is it's hard it's hard to see me oh we should switch to another set, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's 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 bring us closer to you and oh, that's <laughs> you like that so much better, isn't it? And I'll sit back here where where Tim is. <laughs> should I lean forward? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> sorry, and yeah. also sorry for covering up the logo. Yeah, um, well, well, it's a it's a beautiful LCD that they've got back there. It's it really is. It's yeah. It's which which way is it? <laughs> it's, it's back here anyway. You have to, you have to yeah. learn how how to live in yeah. a virtual set. See, um, so. look. Yeah, so this is just D- one funky. <laughs> yeah, learn how to D- point to the stuff. L T. <laughs> nice. Thank so you. this is just one. Uh, one of the other ones that's kind of nice uh, is this one, which has more of a. We're in a totally different studio. Exactly. Yeah. So these are basically, and this I kind of like because it has this zoom feature. So if you go into. Okay. You know, so <laughs> as if we so you, had a cameraman moving in on us. Sure. So. And I can see your reaction to things and yeah. react to your whatever you say. And yeah. it's more it, obvious. It has a very entertainment tonight sort of feel to it. <laughs> it really do. Who's the least Lisa Gibbons or You're whatever right. her name was? And if Mary, we get, the, if we get the, sound, the sound effects going with the transitions. I wonder like if we'll have that same effect that, that Mary, Hat, Mary Hart had on people. I don't know if you ever heard the story about. There were people who would would have like seizure seizures whenever Mary Hart's really voice was on. It was I know it was part of a Seinfeld episode, but it was based on a true story apparently. Mm-hmm. So, if any of you are having seizures out there because of my or Tim's voice, we no. apologize. No, you know, it's the name of the game. <laughs> so. <laughs> Um, so, so what else do we have as well, part of our All right, so these virtual sets, sets are basically like two separate files, and then we're in the middle of them. So there's a forefront sort of file and uh-huh. then a background file. So okay. one thing we were talking about was maybe it would be possible to create our own. So that would be something to look into. Well, and it, 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 we, we talked about this before the show, um, and with others, it, there's a, there was a piece of software that eventually was bought by Adobe called Ultra, mm-hmm. and it was something that I used on the PC, um, Sirius Magic was the company that made it, and they made some um, some different software that was out there. And I'm, I'm even trying to think of the, it was a 
what they called video blogging software. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but it had a built-in teleprompter. It was the first software that I used that had a green screen yeah. uh, associated with it. But then they, they branched out and, and created this, this essentially just a green screen program. And then they had sets that you could buy. They had a bunch of sets that came with it, but then you could buy extra... Um, kind of like GarageBand where you bought extra loops. Um, right. They would have extra sets that you could buy that you could add to the software. And it would be things like libraries and um, museums and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. and basically you would just, you would, um, they would do really complex um, tracking shots where you would, you would start at a very far distance, like it'd be a city shot, and you'd mm. actually zoom into the top of the building, and you'd see the you'd see the studio or whatever I at like the top that. of the building. It, it yeah. really it really was neat, but it, there were there were issues with space that I basic issues with space to sure. try to get that done. But mm -hmm. um, in this space, I think we can we could pull something like that off, and then especially yeah. when we get to the to the convergence center space, we'll be able to do even more with that. So exactly. um, we'll see how how far we can push this here envelope yeah one of, feature that they have in here um and i don't know that we'll find any use for it other than maybe keeping track of uh you know the crazy things that jim says is the scoreboard feature <laughs> yes uh, um i guess it's for for games and stuff like that can you go were, can you go negative numbers on the scoreboard i don't know because we would have to instill that uh, yeah. or instantiate that for jim but we've got one here so there's our score so far okay and i see that you've made it a tie i, I was in the lead uh, yeah, before, before before the show, Tim was in the lead for Andy, whatever reason. Andy got his hands on the laptop, so. and then I quickly bumped my score up. Yeah, um, but then I figured, you know, to be fair, it should be tied. But really, you know, Tim Tim gets the credit for getting this stuff up and running. So maybe we should add a couple to his exactly to his score. But mm -hmm. I don't have the control. We don't know the cr controls to do that, and maybe we'll figure out a way to um, yeah to get that done. This would have been really cool during the telethon. You know, to like yeah. update on the fly, like how much money people are given or anything like that, or you know, stuff like that. Well, I wonder if so. there's there's the kind of the telestream community in the forums and that sort of thing. I'd like, I would like to see them open some of this stuff up to yeah. have, you know, submit your sets or submit your scoreboard um, mm -hmm. um, templates or whatever, right. um, or other types of graphics. But uh, yeah, I mean. You know we're getting there, and and this stuff is is really still pretty easy to use. It's not it's not that difficult to to get into it. And so. I think we definitely need to look more into this chord controller because we've just been using the defaults of what um, who are the people TTFN? Yeah. What does that stand for? Do you even know? Um. Uh, yeah, I can't even remember now. Yeah. So. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, the, it's the Tata -ta for Now Network. Or, <laughs> Not quite. Or, no. Yeah, it's a website um, where they play around with these the Wirecast stuff, and they actually made up the settings for this switcher that we use. I've mentioned it before, the Korg Nano Control, uh, which is like 40 bucks on Amazon, really cheap, and it sends MIDI signals to the laptop. Uh, and Wirecast can accept MIDI signals to change things, and I think we just need to go in there and look and see what's possible with yeah. it. You know, in terms of what things can you actually switch with it, and maybe play around with some of the buttons and things. And I've always always wondered what the sliders would do if they if they did anything, or if they could even be programmed. But, yeah. Uh, so. um, it is just basic buttons that you choose your shots with. So mm -hmm. um, it's 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 a simple, neat, simple way that's cheap to 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 get a a handy program. Uh, you know. Uh, changer so yeah. <laughs> sorry i got really technical there for a second so I, yeah. I apologize and then of course the other feature of pro that we already have but it was was an add-on with standard is to use high def cameras exactly yep so, the hdv plugin is mm -hmm. was one of the crucial pieces so that we can record these shows these epic shows in in high def right. um and uh you know we, the the camera that we've been using we're very happy with i don't I, I think it's been ideal for what we wanted to do. We we yeah. do we capture things in FireWire, but it's the the Canon H HV40, the Vixia HV40, and and mm -hmm. uh, we've stuck with it so far. And um, if we ever get to the HDMI kind of input and and go that route, it'll right. it'll transition nicely to that. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm 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 excited to kind of play around with the software a little bit and see what what uh, what the pro version can do because we are. After all, pros. We now. are professionals now. Um, we've been doing this is what our sixty fourth episode. Sixty fourth episode. Yeah. Um, pretty soon we'll be having our our hundredth episode where we do the no. whole party and and retrospective. Exactly. So we're looking 
it, it won't, it'll be it'll huge be. retrospective three months <laughs> in. <laughs> yes, exactly. So probably what sometime in February or I don't know what we we hundreds. could hit it as early as sometime in December. Okay. Depending on the so you've done um, the, you've done the calculations for this. Well, thing. I mean, we started these at the end of July, and it's only the okay. beginning of October or wow. mid October now. So man, yeah, we're getting there. It's a little scary. It is a little scary. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, on your shoulders. <laughs> on our shoulders. Oh, our shoulder, shoulder. Yeah. Sure. It, okay. it, it, if you want to be tied here. <laughs> then you've got to, then you've got to be willing to bear this burden with me. You keep you keep changing where I'm sitting, Tim. I I oh. hate I hate when you do that. I was putting the score up, <laughs> well, so I, they, I could remind you that we're tied. I think you well, I think you've scored many more. We're equals here since we've been on the show. We're equals, Andy. Exactly. All well, right. I appreciate you considering me one anyway. You're welcome. This has been uh, a, a neat little tour of our our new studio. So. Yeah. Expect um, great things from us. Coming yeah, I'm, up soon. I'm hoping that we can uh, do lots of different looks and feels, and mm-hmm. um, I yeah. think once you see the the stills, at least from the the ultra software, um, there'll be all kinds of possibilities, and see if yeah. we can't program some of these shots to to look quite quite interesting. Well, and I'm just going to go out and pick me up a, a green bodysuit to <laughs> take it to that next <laughs> level. Sure. I, do. I can see myself with a floating head somewhere. I think we should do a floating heads Something, episode yeah. at some point. Power Ranger style, like the big, yeah. And, anyway. and how we, you know, how we justify the cost of a green suit to, to purchasing. I don't know how that works, but I wonder, I wonder how many educational institutions have purchased green suits for their, I'm, I imagine. You can make the argument. Sure. You certainly could. So anyway, <laughs> enough of us rambling on. All right. Thanks for joining us in our new studio. Hey, folks. At DTLT Today. Thanks for watching. Thanks.